This is the future. Just a few hours ago, I have shared a picture, some sort of proof that you can level your Warframe in just about 2 minutes and 40 seconds right now. It's not the famous Banshee Silence ability that requires a lot of setup. Also, it's not the Thermal Sunder setup, but totally a new one. What I'm talking here is the newly reworked augment of Nova named Neutron Star. In case you don't know, the Neutron Star Augment is a Warframe Augment mod for Nova that allows all active Null Star particles to be detonated by pressing the ability key, 1, seeking out enemies and dealing area of effect damage with a guaranteed heat proc. Neutron Star's seek radius is double than that of Null Stars and, this is one of the augments that has been buffed during the Veilbreaker update, its damage was increased, and it can even better with the Archon Vitality mod. However, we won't be needing the Archon mod though if you only intend this augment for leveling. The best part is, you can spam this ability when leveling even if you have blind rage in your build and, it's not only used for leveling. Aside from the decent damage against low to mid level enemies, the ability to seek enemies in a wide radius without the need of line of sight, it also can break containers which makes it great also in missions wherein you need to seek for pinions or and sculptures. It can also be used for farming stuff in open world areas, which makes it a very universal mod for both farming and leveling. So, how do you level up your Warframe using the Neutron Star Augment? First of course, you will need to subsume the Null Star ability into the Warframe you are leveling, and then, try to balance your build with range, duration, power strength, and the Neutron Star mod. With a Steel Charge or a mod, you can have extra mod capacity to equip all these mods at rank 0 of the normal mag Warframe with an Orogin reactor installed. However, it will not be the same for all Warframes as not all are pre-built with a V-Polarity for an Aura mod, and some also don't have a pre-built polarity in the main Warframe mod slot. From these list of mods, the first thing you should equip are the Neutron Star, Overextended, Blind Rage, Primed Flow and Primed Continuity. If you can have more for Augur Reach, then the better, as you would need the mod to gain shield, which activates mold efficiency for the extra duration, creating more null star charges. Also, you won't need arcane energize for this because there's a specific time wherein if you level up, it will refill your energy plus, you can use Xenuric for energy regen and the energy orbs dropped by the enemies. Which is why you can also add more power strength on this build in the form of the mold augmented arcane. Before we dive into the mission, another great addition to this leveling loadout is the Hurra's Cubra with the Stalk mod as this will give you more survivability. The Stalk mod of the Cubra will turn you invisible every time there is an enemy within 24 meters which will help you survive through the rest of the mission. And speaking of the mission, you would need to go into the normal Sanctuary Onslaught to level up your Warframes using this new Neutron Star trick. The method is simple, just cast and recast Neutron Star every time you see enemies until you level up. If you are fighting against Orogin faction or Grinia faction at first, then you will be lucky as you can level up your Warframe in just one zone. However, there are instances that it will be infested first in zone 1, and it would take two zones to level up. That's about 5 minutes running the mission solo, or 2 minutes plus if you got lucky and run into Grinia or Orogin faction first. Sometimes, you do level up also in one zone with Corpus, but in most cases, it would take you to rank 28, and you would need one more zone to level up. Now, it's up to you if you just rerun the mission until you hit Grinir or Orogin first, or just continue even if you first encounter Infested. Anyway, no matter what you encounter, you will max rank your Warframe easily and smoothly using this leveling method. But wait, Neutron Star right now is not only for leveling up your Warframe solo, but also helping other level up their Warframes and weapons fast in the Elite Sanctuary Onslaught and, you can consider this as the new Sarin in this type of mission after the Veilbreaker update, it was 10 days ago, and thanks to this guy for letting me know about this combo, that you can actually turn Garuda right now into a new Queen in Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, and help other Tenno level up their things fast. So what is it for you then? Well, if you are with friends, then you can help those who are in need or, if you want to farm stuff in the Elite Sanctuary Onslaught or just farm standings, then this is for you. The best part about this is that you have all that you need with Garuda as she got Energy Regen with her third ability, Health Regen with her Blood Altar, and all you need to do is just spam Null Star with the Neutron Star Augment and kill all enemies in the zone. 
In terms of modding, it's the usual range, power strength and duration mixed build, paired with the Molt Arcanes and now, with the Arch and Vitality mod for more DPS from the Heat procs. But the question now is, how long will we see this new fun and useful stuff be in the game? I don't want to be that guy, but I think this is one of those things that we always say to have fun with it while it lasts. If Digital Extremes would nerf this though, I think they will just remove the no line of sight feature for the ability and still, it will be working in terms of leveling your warframes but, it would take a couple of seconds since you would need to see targets now, and not spam it in one place. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, Squad Leader signing off.